Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. I'm Stephanie Rose and this video is a very long awaited, very super requested video. It's taken me about a couple months to get this video out and I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this and been asking for this. So I am so excited to finally be filming this and this video is going to be my apartment tour. So I moved into this apartment on April 12th and today is June 10th. So it's been about two months since I have been living here and it's taken me a while to kind of get everything together and get all my furniture in because this is my first apartment. I had no furniture coming in here. So I ordered pretty much everything and all of it has come sparingly like here and there. I was kind of like spaced out over the last couple months. So I finally received the last two pieces of furniture I was waiting for. So I can finally do my apartment tour and I'm gonna mention where everything is from and if I don't mention anything or if I forgot to link something, then leave a comment below and let me know what you have questions on and I will try to answer them and tell you where I got everything from. Like I said, everything is mostly new and a lot of things I bought online so you can pretty much find everything that I have in here. Um, you can find it online. Let's just get into my apartment tour. So if you're interested in seeing my apartment tour before we begin like subscribe and turn on notifications And let's get into my tour. Okay, so we're gonna start off with my entryway This is my front door and this is my little like kind of nook area This is kind of where I just like throw all my shoes that I haven't put in the closet yet And then this ottoman in here has a bunch of my sandals all of my like flip-flops um, So this ottoman is from Target. It is this gray ottoman in, and it's a really good size it was like $70 so a little bit on the pricier side but it was totally worth it because not only does it act as a like little kind of stool for me to like put my bags on when I come in it also acts as storage and I have so many shoes and not that much closet space this was a really great solution for storing my like smaller shoes and my sandals and flip-flops and such so yes that's from Target and I got that a couple months ago so hopefully it's still available and usually what I do over here I put my current purse that I'm using and then I put my like work bag so that's my work backpack um, so I just have these two here because these are my most used bags and it's just easy to pick up and go and easy to drop off when I walk in and also this is a great little stool for when I need to put on shoes I can like sit on it while I like tie my shoes or whatever so um, and then over here I have this little decoration piece so this frame is from Target and the paper that's inside is actually a print from Etsy. It was only like $3 on Etsy and um, it was an instant download so I just paid for that and then I just printed it out right away. So Etsy is a really nice place for if you want little small wall decors or like you know little signs like this and this is just a quote. It's um, from the Bible Romans 828 and then over here is my laundry. This isn't anything exciting. I have a stackable washer and dryer. And then up here I just have my detergent and then my, um, what do you call these? Like the fab, or the like things that you put in to make it smell nice in the dryer. I forgot what they're called. Um, and then over here I have my yoga mat and then I have my little Swiffer broom. I don't really have a big closet to store stuff so this is kind of all I have. And then on this side I have a little bag and I have all of my, these are like my rags, my like cleaning towels and dish rags and like other things that I use to clean. So um, that's all that's in here. It's not a really a big space but um, it works for me and it is just fine. So over here, I had this little tiny section of a wall that I had no idea what to do with when I first moved in, um, but then I decided to make up my little like key area, take my keys and my jackets and stuff. So this shelf right here is from Urban Outfitters. It is just this plain white um, metal shelf. And this was like $25, so I just screwed it into the wall. And um, I have, you know, I can hang hats here, I hang my jacket, sometimes I hang my purse on there. Um, and then if you have keys, you can hang them there. But I actually have this little key case, so I can't hang it. Um, so I just rest my keys up on here. This fake plant is from TJ Maxx. And this little tiny, this one behind here, this gray vase is from H&M and this was like three dollars it's so tiny and I really like pots like this that are really tiny and then this little pot is actually from Giant the grocery store it came with the succulent but unfortunately the succulent died because I forgot that it was like sitting up there and then up here I have a clock this clock is from Target it is from that brand um, 69 something like that 
And then I'll go over here. So this is my mirror. It is my full-length mirror. And I got this from Bed Bath and & Beyond. And it was like $70. But I actually had a 20% off coupon. You know how they give out those coupons. So I got this for like maybe $60 or $55. Something like that. It also has a little like stand here. So if you want to make it stand, you can do that. But I just have it kind of leaning against the wall. So, yep, that's it for this little corner and for this entryway. So we'll continue on to my kitchen. And it's like the first thing you see when you walk in. So here's just an overview of the kitchen slash dining area. I really wanted to keep my apartment very minimalistic. That's kind of the look I was going for. Very clean, minimalistic, kind of modern looking was the theme that I was going for. So um, over here, I have my sink. It's just a big, really deep sink. And then I have this little, um, this little, what do you call this? Like a little tray or something. I keep my sponge here. Um, this is from Macy's. It was like $4. But I wanted to get this because I don't want to like put anything. I don't want anything to be like visible like this up there. I just don't think that's a really nice look. Um, so I got this so that, you know, it's hidden from out there and so over here I have my soap and this is from these are both from CB2 and I thought this would be really nice to you know add to like the look of my kitchen it's like really you know minimal and white um, and so I have my hand soap in one and my dish soap in one and I like wrote these I wrote this on paper and I just taped it on here so I, I would know which is which so I thought this was a really nice look if you go on the other side and look at it it just it just looks visually appealing. I had my like um, dish soap up here for a while and then my hand soap in like their original bottles and I just didn't like that look. I, I don't know, it just kind of clashed with the kitchen. Then over here I have my little hand towel or what are these called, paper towel holder and this is from Target. It's like a marble one. So um, as you can kind of maybe tell, my theme is like white and marble. Um, that's just the look I was trying to go for. And then I just have my little towel here to wipe when I like do my dishes and stuff and then over here I have my little mat this is from at home so I don't know how many locations there are in the country of that store but um, it's from at home so up here on the countertop I have my fruit bowl right now I just have some bananas and this bowl is from Target um, and then over here I have my little vitamin tray so I keep all my vitamins on here and I'm actually doing a giveaway with Hum Nutrition. That video is, um, I just posted it. It's my, what's it called? Oh, my morning work routine. So if you wanna win this bottle and this bottle, go check out that video. And then this thing, this little um, marble platter is from At Home. And then over here I have my blender and my toaster. These are both Hamilton Beach and they're from Macy's and they were super cheap. They're like $20 each and they're actually really good. Oh, I forgot to turn on the light <laughs> my cabinets or my um, countertops have that under under light which is amazing it's so great for cooking also it's just super helpful and super bright so over here I have my rice cooker this is um, from Macy's and I like how it's white and matches my theme and then over here I have my kitchen towels and these are from at home it's like this gray and white um, towel and I think it's really nice and it really matches my kitchen well and then up here I have my teapot. That is from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was like $20. Um, and then over here I have some things. I have a spoon holder for when I'm cooking. And this is from Amazon for like $15. This is really nice. Um, it's super big and again it's marble. I'm trying to go along with my marble theme. And then over here I have my utensil holder. And it says, don't flip out. I think that was so cute. Um, and it's gray and white, kind of my theme of gray and white. And that is from Home Goods. And then up here, I have all of my spoons. Um, I think all of these are actually from Macy's. I got like a pack of these wooden spoons from Macy's for like $10. And then these came with some pots that I got. So um, yeah, I got a lot of my things from Kitchen from Macy's. Macy's is a really good place to buy things. And then over here, I have these little canisters. Um, these are all from at home. And in here, I have some tea. I put all my teas in here. Um, I don't have that many. And then in here, this is empty, but um, I used to have my coffee in here. I had like these this coffee powder thing that I drink. So that was in there, but I ran out. Um, and then in here, I just have some brown sugar. So just my cooking stuff. And then over here, I have this um, olive oil or just like oil little container. And that is from at home for like $3. And then over here, I have my little corner of cookbooks. I have a couple of cookbooks and these are both Chrissy Teigen's cookbooks. They are, um, she has two of them, so I have both of them. And over here, I have all of my HelloFresh. Oh my God, you have 
bug. Okay, sorry guys. A spider literally just flew and landed right here. Did you guys see that? Oh my god, like a flying spider. Okay, anyway, I digress. So, um, like I was saying, I have all of my HelloFresh meals. I keep all of the papers that it comes with because um, I just, you know, in case I want to cook them again one day and I want the recipe. But I have so many. I, I started using HelloFresh and I love it so much. I really recommend it. They don't sponsor me. I wish they did. But, um, you know, my honest opinion is that it's great. Um, it's a little bit expensive, but... I think it's worth it. I have my trash can. Um, we have valet trash here, so it's not, nothing fancy. This came with the apartment, so that's just why I have that. And then I have this little wall flower. This is from Bath and Body Works, and I really like it because it's marble, you know, my marble theme. And I put these all over my apartment. I try not to light candles too much because it's such a strong smell. I do light candles, but these are such a really delicate smell that's not too strong. Since my space is so small, I wanted to not have such strong smelling candles. So I have those like scattered everywhere in my apartment. And then over here is my little tiny seating area. I have a couple of stools and then some placemats. The bar stools are from Amazon. The both of them are $100. So that's actually a good price for stools because I was researching everywhere and bar stools are expensive. So I like these because these are like a plastic white and it matches my theme and I like the legs. They're like a natural wood. So I really liked that look. And they're pretty sturdy. Um, so I have no complaints. I really like them. And then up here I have these placemats and these are from H&M Home and it's a really pretty like millennial pink color. I have like splashes of these everywhere in my apartment as you can tell. I like tried to make that like my like pop color. So $5 for both of them. I believe it was $5 for both. So yeah, I think that covers my kitchen. So here's just another quick glance at it. Oh, someone's calling me. So over here in between my kitchen and my living room, I have my little dining slash eating area. Um, I tried to make this into a, its own little section. My couch is really big though, so it was a little bit hard, but I think it turned out pretty well. So I'll start out with the paintings on the wall. These are both from Macy's. It came in a pack of two, and the colors um, are my like kind of theme colors. So it's white and gold, and let me turn on the light so we can kind of see better. There we go. So yeah, it is white, gold, and has some touches of pink. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like a salmon pink color, and then it also has some gray in it. Um, and then the frame is like a brass gold, which was what um, I was going for, for with my accents. So um, I really like these. I was looking for paintings like this where it looks like it's literally, well, painted obviously, but yeah, I was looking for a style like that, so I'm happy with that. And then over here in this corner is my bar cart. So it's not complete yet, but this is what I have so far. Um, this little flower is from at home. I'm sorry, it's from Home Goods. Um, this little peace sign is from at home. It was like $10 and I think it's super cute. Um, over here I have this, this little, um, little tray. This is actually for like jewelry and stuff. Um, it's from Target, but I thought this, this stripes was a good contrast with the bar cart. So I have that. And then this is a little bottle stopper my friend gave to me, um, but it's really cute. So it's like you can put it in the wine or champagne or whatever, and it's just a bottle stopper. And then over here I have this little glass, or not glass, brass cup from um, Target. This is actually a pencil holder, which I used to have at my desk, but I thought it matched really well in the bar cart, so I just put it here. And in it I have these little um, mixing sticks that are from Nordstrom Rack, and it's like a little millennial pink and gold. Um, pineapple and again my theme <laughs> I'm gonna say that a lot my theme like that's the two words I'm gonna say a lot in this video so I apologize and then over here I have my um, shaker and this is from Nordstrom Rack and I thought this was so cute because it's gonna be kind of hard to tell um, I'm gonna try to focus it but okay there we go on it it has the recipes of all sorts of drinks so um, you know what is this daiquiri that's what it says and then cosmopolitan and then a mojito so it just has a ton of recipes all over the side. I just love the way this looks and I thought that was really helpful that it has the recipes on there. I haven't really used this that much but I want to start making some cocktails and such so um, I have that. And then I just have some drinks back here. I'm a huge wine drinker um, so yes that's what I have there. And then on this shelf I just have not that much. I don't really have much on the bottom too. Um, I'm kind of working on it still but I have these coasters that are, it says drink more wine. That is from Macy's and then this here I have um, some peanuts in it just you know for a little snack and this is my mom's I'm not sure where it's from I'm pretty sure it's like 20 years old at least but um, that's my mom's yeah 
And then I just have a candle here from Bath and Body Works. And then over here I have this little random fake like succulent thing. I actually don't like that here at all. I don't even like it at all. I kind of want to get rid of it, but I had nowhere to put it. So I just put it on the bar cart and the bar cart is from Pier One Imports. So um, yeah, I kind of like how it looks so far. I still want to fill the bottom and the middle shelf up a little bit more, but I kind of like how the top looks so far. So yes, I just put that in the corner here. And then next I have my little table and chairs. So it took me a really long time to pick out a table and chairs because I didn't know what style I wanted. I didn't know what look I was going for. I was afraid of getting all white because I didn't want the whole place to be too, too white. So the table and chairs came separately and the table is from, I believe it is from Wayfair. It might be Wayfair or Joss and Main. I'm not sure, but I'll definitely link it below. And it's just this little circle table. It's like, I think it's 40 inches. I can't remember the details, but like I said, I'll link it below. But I really like this. I wanted a circle one because, you know, it kind of saves space. If I got a square one, it would have been too boxy and it would have been like hard in my small space. But circle tables are really good for small spaces. And then the chairs are actually from Amazon. And I was looking for a really modern design. And I think I achieved that with these chairs. It came assembled, so it's just like a plastic material and it has like soft things on the bottom so it won't scratch the floor but they're actually really comfortable um, the seat is like wide enough um, so anyone can sit there like all sizes of people can sit on this chair and yeah I'm really happy with it and then here I have a little vase and some roses this vase is from H&M home and I love the really retro look of it it kind of reminds me of the 80s um, I think it's a really classy look and I try to fill this with flowers um, every week so um, when they die I try to go get new ones from the grocery store and just you know always have flowers here I think it adds a really nice touch to the table and makes it look not plain so yep so here's my little eating area and again I'm very happy with it and so over here now we have my living area so here's just an overview so we'll start with the big things. Um, so my couch is from Value City, um, but I'm pretty sure other like stores sell this exact model of a couch. So um, I'll link it below, but this couch is, originally I thought it was super, super big. I was really nervous that it wouldn't fit and that I wouldn't have enough space for my living area or my dining area, but it actually is so perfect. So I think this is 119 inches and it's a really good size. It's super long. You can fit like four or five people comfortably on this couch and it's like a gray, a light gray color. And then um, the pillows, these two white pillows are from um, home goods and they are like Calvin Klein I think is the brand and then I have these two pairs of black pillows that are like from Walmart 10 years ago when I was in college so um, super old and then I have like a little tiny um, gray fur one that I actually got from Michaels a couple years ago so my pillows are like not nothing new except for the white ones those are the only thing that's new um, and then over here I have a throw blanket that I am absolutely obsessed with. It is made by Ugg and so if as you can imagine it's super super soft um, and this is from Bed Bath and Beyond and it is a little pink color so I have touches of pink here and there like I mentioned um, so I love that blanket right there. And then my rug is from Ruggable. It is um, supposed to be model modeled after concrete, so that's kind of the design of it. And this is an eight by 10, so it's pretty big, but it's a perfect space for my entire living room. And what's great about these rugs is that you can wash these. These are mach machine washable, like you can just throw it in your washing machine. So if you have kids or if you have pets, it's perfect for if you need to like give it a quick wash. And um, so what's really cool about these also is that, so this is just a cover. This isn't the actual rug. And then under here is the rug pad. Um, it's like a Velcro, so you can just stick it on. So you can buy the covers. Like the website has so many different covers that you can buy and you can like swap out anytime you want. So maybe I will, um, you know, buy another one and, you know, have it as an option to switch out. But I don't, I'm like really happy with this. I love how it looks with my furniture. I love how it looks um, with everything. So I might just... I might just keep it and I like how it looks you know contrasted with the wood floors moving on to some other things this little tiny accent rug is from TJ Maxx I bought this probably like four years ago um, but this is like a style you can find anywhere so I just put it here I originally had this in my closet but 
I thought this was like kind of a nice accent piece and kind of a nice like pop and my table is from uh, Home Depot and it's like um, this is not real marble it's fake it's, I think it's pretty I think it's wood but I like the look of it and I like the legs it's like a Y leg shape and it's a brass gold so my living room has touches of brass gold which I try to have a lot of um, and then over here is my little tray on my coffee table and I have these coasters it is I think it's marble or quartz I don't know what you would call this um, but these are from at home and these were like ten dollars for four of these at home has a lot of really good stuff they just opened one near me so I have been going there like crazy and then this little decorative thing is also from uh, at home and this little um, container is from H&M Home and in here I put like some peanuts so when I'm like watching TV um, I can have something to snack on and this is like a little pink color that I like and then these candles are just decorative candles I'm not gonna light them but these are from Home Goods and then I just have my TV remotes here and then I have a random button that broke for my shirt um, so yeah oh and then the tray is from Macy's it was like $25 so pretty good um, what else oh so this mirror is from Amazon and I knew in my mind as soon as I moved in that I wanted a circle mirror right above my couch I literally had that envisioned for like months <laughs> so I got this mirror and you know me these type of mirrors are so so expensive honestly I did not know how expensive mirrors were until I like got my own apartment but they're expensive but this one was $150 it's from Amazon and originally it was black so the rim of it I'm not sure if you can tell. Originally it was black and I kind of, I didn't do the best job, but I painted it gold. I got this brass gold paint from Michaels and I just painted over it because I wanted the accents to be gold in my living room. So, um, and it's like a rubber, rubber material. It's a, it was a black rubber, um, but I painted over it with no problem and I really like how it turned out. So yeah, that's from Amazon. And then in the corner over here, I have my lamp and my little plant. Um, the lamp is from Amazon and it is a floor lamp and it has a brass gold um, detailing. And then this is my fake plant, fig fiddle leaf plant from Ikea. And this is actually expensive. It was $50 and honestly, like I'm not even that wowed by it. I like my real plants a lot better. So I'm not the biggest fan on this, but it's it, but it works. Um, and then here's my window. I have a really tall window. Like I didn't even realize until I moved in and I bought curtains. I didn't realize how tall my my window is. Um, the curtains are 95 inches and it still is like a little bit above the floor. So um, the curtain rod is a brass color, if you can see, um, and that is from. Um, 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 I think it's from Amazon. And the curtains they just have these sheer white curtains. And these are from Macy's. And I think these were each like $9.99. So, um, yeah. So that's my window. And then moving on to my console area. Here's my TV. And then down here I have a little basket. The basket is from Target. It was $20. And it's a gold little brass color. And in here I just have a blanket and then a pillow. Um, this is the same pillow I have on my couch, but I thought it looked really cute in the basket, so I left one in the basket. And then here's just an extra blanket. I got this from Home Goods. And then over here is my little um, console. And the console is from Ikea. Um, and I really liked this one because, again, it was white and it's really sleek and really clean and very minimal looking. So I really, really wanted to get this one. I had my eye on this one for a while, so I'm super happy with it. And then up here, I have a little coffee table book. It's um, Chanel. And then this little cool thing is like, I don't even know what this is. Like, are these links? But that's from Home Goods. And then I have this little crystal rock. This one is from Home Goods as well. And I love this. I like to light this, light this up at night. It's really relaxing. And it's just good. It gives off really good light, surprisingly. So I have that there. And then this is just a little candle I have from Nordstrom Rack. And then on this side, I have this white pot that is from Nordstrom. It's um, actually Anthropology, but I bought it from Nordstrom. And then I have this little egg, which everyone always makes fun of me when they come over. They're like, why do you have an egg up here? But I think it's so cute. It's like black speckled and beige. And I think it's just a nice pop of a design. And that's from CB2. And I bought this for $3. And then I have this little jack, like, you know, um, the game jacks. It's like a big jack. 
and that one is from home goods as well so yep that's what i have there and then i have a couple of coffee table books down here i have vogue and bazaar i got those both on amazon so um, yep, and then here's my TV. This is a 55 inch. I got this from Best Buy. And then over here I have this little floor vase that is from At Home. And then these little, little, um, rose gold or brassy little twigs or whatever you call this, um, is from At Home as well. Okay, so we can move on to my balcony. So I have a pretty big balcony. It's a really, really, really nice size. So we can start over here with my furniture. Um, so this set is from Joss in Maine. It was like $230, um, and I really like the design of it. It's, you know, kind of that California style. It's, um, I didn't want the black wired one or like the kind of basic ones. Um, I really wanted a really good quality, like wood finish one, so um, I love this. And the chairs came with the cushions, um, and I like the color of it as well. Um, and then the pillows. The two pillows are from at home and then this little plant fake plant is from at home as well and then moving on to the other side of the balcony i have all my plants over here so this little stool is from nordstrom rack i got this on clearance for like 30 dollars. so i thought this was a really nice decoration but i can also use it as a footstool and i'm sorry if it's really loud i think there's like construction out there um and then this little, this little succulent is from my friend she gave this to me when i moved in so i thought this, that was really sweet and it's really pretty so it's been growing a lot um and then over here um so i'm not like done with the section yet i have these two plants that are both from lowe's and one of them i have it potted already in this little basket that i got from at home for like 12 dollars. so um i like the look of that um that one i have not potted yet i actually have that pot right there because i wanted to put that one in that pot but I think that pot is too small so I might return it and get a bigger one so that's why I'm kind of like not finished with these yet the lights are from Target and I bought the black not even thinking that my balcony railing was black but it turned out so perfect it like blends in really well and I just love the look of it I, I'm so happy with my balcony it's just turned out so perfect like it just ties in really well together so yep so that's it for my balcony here is like another over view look of the inside from the balcony standpoint all right so now let us move on to my bedroom i have like a trio of doors this little corner over here so i really like that layout when i first moved in i like loved it um so here's my closet it probably is not the best to organize i have my laundry basket up there because it won't fit anywhere else I have all my coats i have my um, light my ring light and then I have my vacuum and my tripod and just a ton of shoes so um, like I said this place didn't come with a lot of space so I try to cram everything in here and kind of organize it the best that I could um, so then here's my bedroom we'll start with the bathroom because the bathroom will lead into my bedroom the bathroom has two doors this is the one for the outside and then there's another door that will lead into my bedroom so we will start here and the bathroom is nothing exciting honestly like super basic um but everything is white of course i love white um the two mats are from marshall's and then um this little plant this little what do you call that orchid that one is from amazon and i just got that um it was like 15 dollars. and then i have like random stuff here my shower is humongous the shower curtain is from Macy's and i liked how it had these like natural buttons on it and then this is like a waffle shower curtain and then inside honestly nothing that exciting there's that um so then over here i have my sink and then i just have like my hand soap my toothbrush and toothpaste i have a little towel here it's for when i need a wipe and then over here i have all of my um like okay so this is like hair stuff and then this is all facial stuff all my skincare stuff so this little container is like an acrylic tray and this is from home goods and um, I have another wallflower here from um, Bath and Body Works and it's just the same marble one and then over here I have my towel rack and yeah nothing too crazy super basic so here's the other door and this is the one that leads to my bedroom so here we go this is my bedroom 
here is just an overview. It's actually such a really decent size. It's pretty big. I'm really happy with how big my bedroom is. So we'll start over here. Um, this sign is like this neon light up sign that is from um, Urban Outfitters and that was on sale. Um, I forgot how much it was and I'm not sure if it's still available, but I think, um, I think it still is, but it's so pretty. It's so cute. The color is like a white kind of light blue color. So I thought it tied in really well with my room. Um, and then moving over here, we have my rug by my bed. This is from Overstock and this is a faux sheepskin rug. Um, it's not real. I hope it's not real because I don't support that, <laughs> but it's super soft. Oh my god, it is so, so soft. It's like the best thing to like walk on when you first wake up in the morning, especially when it's cold. Um, so anyway, over here I have my nightstand, and I'll turn this light on for better lighting. And the nightstand is from Value City as well. And what's really cool about this nightstand is that it has these little USB plugs back here. So there's one and there's another one. So that's how I charge my phone. So I thought that was really, really cool. Um, but up here I have my lamp. My lamp is from at home no i'm sorry it's from home goods i get those two stores mixed up all the time and then i just have a little coaster from nordstrom and then i have this little rock that is from at home not rock it's like a crystal but that's from at home and then this is like a little sleeping mist this is from nordstrom and this smells so good it smells like lavender and vanilla and it's just oh my god it's so nice so i spray that like around my bed area before I go to sleep. And then I have this little picture frame that I'm pretty sure I got from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx years ago. That's me and my boyfriend. Um, and then here I have my MacBook. And then this little book, it says pause on it. It's like a little journal workbook. I haven't actually written, written in it yet, but um, it's nice to like put your thoughts down. And then I have my glasses, which everyone always asks where they're from. They are from coastal.com, coastal.com. And then here, I have this little macaroon candle is what they called it. It literally is shaped like a macaroon, and it smells so good. I actually don't think I'm going to even light it because of how cute it looks, and I don't want to, like, ruin it. But this is from Nordstrom. This was, this was, like, $13, so pretty good price. So, yep, that is my nightstand, and then I have my slippers. Literally, like... You know you're Filipino when you have slippers just everywhere in every corner of your house. Um, so over here is my closet, my walk-in closet. It's a pretty good size and I'm really happy with it. Um, so it came with these shelves. These shelves were built in and that's super convenient. So I bought these little um, wired baskets. These wired baskets are from Target and this is like the biggest size. It was like $20. So over here I just have like my shorts. I have leggings and then I have my um, thigh high boots down here. And then up here I have some purses. These are like my little mini going out purses and, th and then up there is my work bag. Ooh, I need to clean that. But this is my Teddy Blake bag. I actually made a video on this bag which I'll link if you haven't seen it. It's a really good bag. I love it. And I use this for work. Um, so then up here, I just have some like shoe boxes. I have some of my like purse and wallet boxes. And then I have this little black container that has all my hats, like baseball hats and um, beach hats and stuff. I have that container that's all my sweaters that I'm not wearing right now because it's summer. And then I have my luggage up there. And then, yeah, so these, these are just all my clothes. And these hangers, I have all of the like um, velvet, like thin hangers like this because that really helps save space. Like, as you can see, I have so many hangers and I'm fitting so many clothes in here, but you know, the hangers really help save space. So I got those from Amazon. I also got them from Macy's. Um, they sell them everywhere. Um, and then I have matching like pants hangers as well. I wanted to keep the hangers consistent because I think it just looks better and it's easier to to, like find clothes <laughs> but the pants hangers are from Amazon so yep that is my closet oh yeah and then the shoe racks are from Amazon as well and these are stackable ones so this is actually two of them stacked on top of one another and I really like this one because it comes with a natural wood finish and then this is actually extendable so it can even extend further um, but this is just what I have right now to fit because my laundry basket is there too that's from Macy's um, so yeah I really like this shoe stand and then I have a third one that's in my hallway closet that I showed you guys and then oh and then on the back of my closet I have a coat hanger and I have like my bigger bags or my like backpacks and then my gym bag and then I have my belts hanging over here too so now let's go back to the bedroom and so this is my bed 
Um, my bed frame is from Value City. It is this like baby blue color or like sky blue color. I love it so much. It's also like padded so you can like lean against it and it's so comfy. Um, and then my comforter, I have to talk about this for a minute. This is from Buffy. If you're not familiar with this company, it's called Buffy, B-U-F-F-Y. And this comforter is so so soft, like a really breathable comforter. It's super lightweight, but it also keeps you so warm. So like, if you're like me, my legs get really hot when I sleep. So um, this comforter is really great because it keeps you warm without making you feel too hot in bed. And then I just have some pillows and then these two pink pillows are from Home Goods. And then this is from like Target, like probably seven years ago. I've had this since college. Um, so yeah, there's the bed. And then over here, right across my bed, I have my dresser and my TV area. The dresser is matching with the nightstand. And again, it's from Value City. And these are really cool. I like the handles are like, they're like kind of clear. Um, I won't go through them. It's honestly super boring. It's just my clothes. Um, and then over here is my oil diffuser. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond, and I really like this one because it like changes colors, and it's you know really pretty at night. And then over here is my little TV. It's a 33 inch, and I got that as a gift for my boyfriend for Christmas. And then over here I have my little round mirror. I actually hung this a little bit too high, but the purpose of this is that I wanted to like, um, you know, look at my jewelry and stuff. I mean, it's a good height, honestly, but. It could have been a little bit lower. I hung up myself, so, you know, I could have done a better job <laughs> or used someone to help me. So this is from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was $30. And over here I have my little jewelry area. And then um, I this little stand is from Amazon. And then I have, like, my watches here. And then I have earrings here, some necklaces, chokers, bracelets, and then my longer necklaces in the back. And then this little container, I have, like, some earrings that I can't hang and, like, um, studs and stuff so this marble this is real marble this is from crate and barrel I believe either crate and ba barrel or CB2 and then I just have my Apple watch here and then I have a couple headbands there so and then over here in this little corner this was like an awkward corner that I, I didn't know what to do or I didn't know what to put here so I ended up going with these floating shelves and these shelves came in a pack of three um, and they are from Amazon, so I loved the white color. Again, I was trying to do white for my room, and I love how minimal it looks and how clean it looks. So I hung these myself. It was a little bit difficult, but it wasn't too bad. Um, so I just have, like, some purses stored up here, and then I have my perfumes up there. I have a couple shoes that I thought looked nice over here. This is more for, like, design and not really for storage. I mean, it does have good storage because I need a place to put my perfumes, but this is more for like decor. And then down here I have some shopping bags, my Gucci and Louis Vuitton shopping bag, and I might get a plant and put a plant here, so. And then over here I have my curtains. The rod is from Macy's, it's just a white one, and the curtains are the same as the ones in the living room, and they are like the sheer ones. And then over here is my vanity. Um, I do have a vanity tour up. I filmed that separately, so if you haven't seen that yet, I will link that and you can see where everything is from in that video um, so I won't go into detail here just you can watch that video so I think that covers it oh yeah and then this namaste in bed um, the print is from FY like FY.com and the frame is from Michaels um, I'm not sure I can't remember the size it might be 24 by 18 but um, I just like that saying and I think it looks really nice above my bed so yes there we go that is my bedroom here's one more quick glance all right, you guys, so that is it for my apartment tour. I know that was kind of long, but I really wanted to talk about everything and tell you guys where everything is from. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you like my apartment. And if you guys have any questions on anything that I mentioned, then leave a comment below. And like I said, I'm gonna try to link everything. It is a lot of things, so um, I'm gonna try to link it all. I'll do my best, but if I miss something, then just let me know. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and to like the video and turn on notifications. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video.